Well, it's recently been said that right now there's never been a better time to buy a luxury yacht. Because of the recession in many places, prices are being driven down and opening the market to new potential buyers. There are bargains around, and ever more so by the day as the global financial crisis hits harder. Whether it's yachts, cars, houses or planes, the prices seem to be dropping. Uh, is the yacht manufacturing business threatened, though, by the current economic situation? With us on Inside Business today is Erwin Bons, who is Executive Manager of Gulf Craft Incorporated. Thanks a lot for coming in today. Thank you. Well, Erwin, I mean, you know, is the yacht market threatened at the moment? As you said, it's an opportunity nowadays for both uh, customers and, and manufacturers. But of course, uh, it is an opportunity for those manufacturers that uh, are dynamic and innovative. And I believe we profile ourselves uh, very much so. We are investing at this moment where other people are basically holding off spending money. We have invested in uh, four or five new models which we will be launching over the next few months. And actually we'll use the Abu Dhabi Yacht Show also to show some of our latest releases. And uh, at the same time we are trying to give uh, indeed customers a better deal. We are offering them uh, the yachts with more features and with a higher level of technology than was, was the case so far. So I think we'll find buyers. How many yachts do you currently produce per year on average? Well, we don't only produce yachts. We build uh, small boats and we build yachts. And that's up to 900 a year. And tell us about the company's you know, history, really, here in the UAE. Well, we are one of the few companies that uh, is actually building a product from scratch, a finished product uh, in the UAE and selling it worldwide and meeting world-class standards. We are... Uh, Established in 1982 in Ajman, proudly uh, UAE owned, and uh, we have been building first uh, smaller boats in the first few years. And it's actually in recent decade that we have increasingly gone towards the international markets with ever larger sized vessels, uh, where today we're building 135 footer. And uh, the price tag of, of what we produce is anywhere between 50,000 dirham and 55 million dirhams. So, we believe we have something to offer for uh, a worldwide public and very much in any budget available. Because there, there is an idea that boating, yachting is really for the, for the, super, the super rich, the elite, but um, that obviously isn't the case. Well, I think that yachting started that way. I mean, from the times of Brigitte Bardot and Roger Vadim and Onassis, uh, um, there has been a uh, linking of the yachting lifestyle towards uh, or to the uh, high society over the years but we believe uh, that's our vision and our mission almost to to make boat ownership a bit more democratic and i'm not talking about a sailing boat for the purpose of, of exercise and, and just fun on the water for youngsters and young people young at heart we believe that uh, even yachting with a luxurious interior and and more of a sumptuous environment that, that it belongs to everyone and that uh, it should be available for all those people who want to enjoy life a little bit more. Now, I mean, can you compare, let's say, a yacht, uh, you know, a relatively expensive yacht, mm -hmm. to, you know, depreciating in the way a car would? Actually, luckily enough for us, we, we build uh, quite unique pieces of art. Uh, we call them yachts. Uh, and because of their uniqueness, they they tend to appreciate in value sometimes rather than depreciate. And if there's a depreciation, especially in the, the present economic downturn, I can tell you we depreciate less than cars and, and uh, properties these days. And we have seen that yachting, especially on the super yacht side, becomes almost a safe haven investment. Now Dubai and Abu Dhabi, the main centers where it's really going on, the yachting and boating business, um, they have uh, trade shows. Um, we hear mm -hmm. about them every year. Yes. Um, how important are they to getting your, your business across? Trade shows are a way for clients to come in touch with the product. Uh, and for most clients who own a yacht, they will, they will not invite a lot of people to their yacht except for their close relatives or friends. So a lot of people never get the chance to really see a finished boat, even if they are, um, say, uh, moving amidst those... Uh, people that own yachts, not always they get a chance to see truly a finished product. And therefore, a trade show is a chance for them to enter and see the, the, what's available on the market. Secondly, trade shows are 
more than ever a networking environment in which you can uh, discuss with your clients what are their needs, what, what is happening in the world. Would you say that Dubai and Abu Dhabi are the leaders in the, in the Gulf region at the moment when it comes to boating and yachting? Yes, they, they drive the development of the leisure marine industry over the region and uh, are basically trying to set trends for the surrounding countries as well. When you see these yachts in these marinas, and incredible yachts they are, uh, yes. is it not just a status symbol? Often you never see them move. Um, I think that to a large extent it is a status symbol, especially on the larger end, the super yacht size. Um, but they do carry a lot more weight. They, they are uh, places where you can also meet your competitors and, your, and show off in front of them about your business success, where you can invite colleagues, where you can meet with friends and enjoy privacy and basically at the same time um, relay your business success. And I think these days maybe that's even more relevant than anywhere else just to confirm the trust people have in your ability to, to work with them or to support them. Fantastic. Well, Owen Bombs, thank you very much for coming and joining us on the program today. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Well, that's it for this edition of Inside Business. You can contact the program by writing to ib at city7tv.com. For now, from all of us on this edition of the program, goodbye and thanks for watching.